All right, my bad, my bad. We in the building. Appreciate y'all for tapping in. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Now, it's being said that uh, Bobby Mark, uh, you know, tells, you know, Lee Jelts, the NBA, and Sam Mitchell that the Pistons could be his landing spot to talk about Zach Levine. All right, so they basically saying that Zach Levine could be uh, headed to Detroit. Okay, so let's kind of see if we can uh, we can hear what he said. Is it real, son? Tell me if it's real, son. Here we go. I'll play it again. All right, there we go. So we heard him. All right. Um, it's been brought up before. Oh, y'all, did y'all hear that? I apologize. I don't think y'all heard that. My bad. Let's do it over. Make sure I hear it, hear it. Yeah, I'm tripping. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think y'all heard that. My bad. Detroit is, what, 2-17. and 17. I, I would not be surprised if they stick their toe in the Zach Levine to see what his market is and see wow. if we can get a guy who's making, you know, a, a former all-star who we couldn't get in free agency. And if it doesn't cost us much, maybe just cost us a bunch of expiring contracts and maybe one of the younger kids that they go out and do something like that. That would be a kind of a team I would just keep an eye on as far as with Levine. All right, so you heard by Mark's former front office. Uh, well, the NBA front office insider. Um, this is on the Sirius XM NBA radio. Shout out to them. Uh, so you heard him. You know, we already talked about possibly landing Zach Levine. Um, we spoke on that already. Um, you know, I, I would like to see Zach Levine, one of my favorite players. I'd like to see him in a winning situation, Philadelphia, uh, maybe the Knicks, somewhere like that, just, just to see him be on the contender and see what he would do. Um, also, some questions about his defensive uh, efforts as well, too. You hear that going out there. Remember KD said, you know, on this M uh, Olympic team a few years ago, we're going to make him play defense. You know, great ball handler, pause. Um, yeah, great ball handler, pause. You know, great shooter, great scorer. He went off on this year. Then he scored like 50 points on us or 40-some points on us this year. But, you know, where would he really fit in at? You know, he could shoot, he could score. You know, he can kind of bring the ball up and handle the rock. Um, but, you know, where would he kind of sit here and he fit in, He would fit in in this situation that is the million dollar question, okay? Um, that's the million dollar question. Where would he truly fit in at? Okay. Um, I think he could fit. You know, but at this point, is he going to bring wins to the table? Well, I'm not sure. I don't think so. I think you need more of a stretch four. Or a modern four to go in there, but I would be mad they did it. And I know Michael was telling me that he felt that this would be a desperation move by um by what's the kid's name by uh by Tom Gores. This would be more of a, a desperation move to get the juices flowing to get people excited. But I think I think on top of that, maybe you get Lori Marketing. But if you're gonna do Lori Marketing, Zach Levine, Duran, Ashore, and Cade. I think the number one thing you have to get K during the short gonna have to be top. They gonna have to be top defenders. They're gonna have to defend at a high level. They're gonna have to uh, defend at a high level. You know, they're gonna have to defend at a high level. So and that's and that's the number one thing. So you heard them. It might just cost them some 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 contracts, some expiring contracts, some young players, maybe a, a, you know a, one or two key young players they may need at the end of the day. You get the veterans that can score, but you know you want to see like Black Levine go somewhere in the rest of his prime that he can win and be on and be and be showcased. That's what you want to see, to be honest. You know, and will you be able to sign them back and pay and keep them? That's the question. 
But he will give you a veteran boost. He will give you a shooting boost, a scoring boost. He'll give you a lot of stuff. He'll help K. I'm not going to be opposed to it. I'd love to see them go get Laurie Marketing too. But Troy Weaver going to have to give up some of his kids. And if that's Ivy and that's uh, – if that's Ivy and you know that's uh uh you know if that's Ivy and that's uh uh excuse me if that's Ivy and that's uh uh a short time, you know, a short time with Ivy and J, uh, or Isaiah Stewart and all them, then that's what he gonna have to do. That's what he gonna have to do. That's what he gonna have to do. You know, if he got to give up on them, he got to give up on them. You know, so that's just my opinion on it. You know, that's my opinion on it. So if he got to give up on them, he got to give up on them. You know? But I, I would do it. like to see add Lori Markin in there. And then the guys there are going to have to defend. I don't think it's no question. I don't think it's no question that 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 Assure going to defend. But Jay and Ivy got to be better defensively too. I mean, uh, uh, Jalen Duran got to be better defensively too. So, but yeah, I'm not opposed to it. Go for it. But I, I would like from a from a selfish standpoint, personal standpoint of view, to see uh I would like to see uh old buddy, you know, uh Zach Levine somewhere where he can win that. That's just me. But my piston fan point of view, yeah, go bring him here, you know, you know, I think that'll elevate Cade and them, but also get Lori Markin and get somebody like him. You know, you know, I would like to see that as well, too. So, yep, that's my opinion on it, man. But I, I would like to see it, and I think it would make sense. You know, you know, can't get guys to come in for AC, go sign them. And I heard that Cam Johnson ain't playing well over there in Brooklyn anyway, so they dodged the bullet not picking up Cam Johnson. So I hear he ain't doing ish over there neither. So yeah, I heard he ain't doing ish over there neither. So it seemed like they 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 uh dodged the bullet there too. So, but yeah, man, uh, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Uh, financially, you want to support the channel? Cash out dollar sign CJ Good three one three Venmo CJ Good three one three PayPal link description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Hit the link tree, find, find me everywhere. I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Hit the link tree. Check out my new channel, Free Game 89, FR33 Game 89. That's in the link tree in the description. Check out my main channel, Goodfellow TV. That's in the link tree in the description as well, too. Peace.